Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Java JDK on your Windows 10 operating system. Now, if you want to check whether Java is installed on your Windows 10 operating system already, then what you can do is you can just go to this search bar and then search for CMD or command prompt. And once this command prompt is open, you can just type this command java space hyphen version and if this command gives you this kind of response which says java is not recognized as an internal or external command that means java and jdk is most probably not installed on your windows 10 operating system one more way of uh, just verifying this is just give this java c command which we use to compile the java files and then java c space hyphen version and most probably it will also fail if the java jdk is not installed on your windows 10 operating system so let's see how we can install java jdk on our windows 10 operating system so first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK. And most probably the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com. So I'm going to just click on this link. I will also paste this link in the description of this video. Now here, let me just increase the font size here so you can see it in a better way. So here you can see at the time of making this video, Java SE 13 is the latest version. Now, when I scroll down, Java SE 11 is the long-term support version, LTS version. And also we have the Java SE 8U241 uh, build also. So in this video, we are going to install the latest version, which is the Java SE 13. So just go under Java SE 13 and just click on this option which says JDK download. And once this page is open, you just need to scroll down a little where it says Java SE development kit 13.0.2. This is the version at the time of making this video. And then you can see all the operating system for which this Java JDK is available. Now, for Windows operating system, this JDK Windows x64 bin.exe file is available. So I'm going to just click on this uh, exe file, not the zip file. So I'm going to just click on this exe file here. And then I'm going to just say I received and accept the Oracle Technology Network License Agreement. And then I'm going to just click on this download uh, JDK dot exe file now once this executable file is downloaded i'm going to just click on this executable file and i'm going to minimize my browser and here it says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i will say yes and now you can see this initial setup window so i'm going to just click on next here now on this next window this will be the default location where your java jdk will be installed so if you don't have the good reason to change it, I will recommend it to just leave it as it is and just click on next button. And now it's going to just copy all these files. And in few seconds, you will be able to see this message which says that Java development kit 13.0.2 64-bit is successfully installed. So now I'm going to just uh, close this window and I will go to the location where this uh, Java JDK file is installed on my computer. So I will go to uh, this PC, C directory, and then uh, program files. And then you can see this Java directory here. And inside this Java folder, you will be able to see uh, the JDK version you have installed. So I have installed the Java JDK 13.0.2. So I will just click on this. And the important folder here is the bin folder where all the Java related files are uh, present. For example, Java C.exe will be there and other Java re related executable file are all present inside this bin folder. So the next step is 
to set this bin folder as our environment variable so that we can run all the Java related command from the command prompt. So just copy this path up to the bin folder of the Java JDK and then go to your uh, Windows icon. Just click on the Windows icon and then click on the settings here. And in the settings, just click on the system option here. And here you can uh, search for environment variables. So just type environment variables here and you need to choose this option which says edit the system environment variables and this is going to open this kind of window so here go to environment variables and here you need to set your environment variables related to java so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click on the path environment variable so just click on path environment variable and then click on edit and here just paste your path for the java bin folder at the end okay so this path is c program files java jdk 13.0.2 backslash bin and then i'm going to just press enter and then i'm going to just click ok and this environment variable is set now also if you want to uh, develop with java or java related uh, tools you might also want to set your java home environment variable so to set the java home environment variable what you can do is you can just click on the new option here and then the environment variable uh, we need to write here is java home so variable name is java underscore home all in capital letters and the value for the variable will be the path up to jdk folder so you don't need to go inside the bin folder you just need to copy this folder path up to the jdk folder so i'm going to just copy this path also and then paste it here as the value for the java home environment variable so c program files java and then jdk hyphen 13.0.2 in my case okay you don't need to give the bin folder path here for the java home environment variable i will click ok here and you can see this java home environment variable is set now so i will just click ok and then click ok and then i will close all the windows now i will once again open my command prompt so if you have any previously opened command prompt just close all the command prompt which you have uh, previously opened before installing java and then now open the new command prompt so just type uh, command prompt in the search bar and then open your command prompt here and then we are going to check all the java related commands one by one so the first command we are going to check is the java version so just write java hyphen version here and then press enter and it's going to give you the java version which we have installed we have installed the java version 13.0.2 that's why you can see here the java version also you can see with the java jdk installation this runtime and environment or java jre is automatically installed with the same version so you don't need to install java jre separately now we are going to check the java c command so i'm going to just write java c hyphen version here so java c is the command line tool using which you can uh, compile your java files right so you can uh, see it says uh, this error it gives us this error which says invalid flag hyphen version so version i have typed uh, wrong here so i will uh, just uh, once again give uh, this command again which is the java c version and it's going to give you the uh, java c version which will be the same version as the java version okay one more command you can uh, give here to check if your environment variable is set perfectly for the java home environment variable and that command is echo and then give percentage symbol and then give a java underscore home this is the environment variable we have set and then once again percentage 
okay so echo percentage java underscore home percentage and it's going to give you this path which we have set in our java home environment variable so all the things are working fine now and now you are ready to work with java and java related programs on your windows 10 operating system so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video